Also, did you guys want to buy a blend ballista? I do want to buy a ballista. So what would we have to do to have a ballista? It is 500 gold. I, I will buy a ballista and have our workers take it out there, put it on the roof. Okay. Seems reasonable. Um, okay. So you guys out and go out, and do you want to stay out there for two months? We'll just get there first. I don't know if we have to stay there while they're doing all the work and stuff, but we definitely need to go there at least so we can pick up the other the others calls. And was... warn them away from uh, certain traps and little girls. Yeah, because if they just try to go upstairs, they're going to get crushed to death. So <laughs> we do have to go out there with them. Plus, we should probably bring a sheet or something, put it up over the little girl's cage. It's <laughs> terrible. What about the, all the other ones? Uh, no, we'll leave them there. Okay. Um, okay, so you take all the workers out. And you, you get there safely. Relatively safely. Yeah, relatively safely. Some, like, some of the workers have, have kind of uh, kind of trouble carrying the ballista. Different stuff like that. But you make it out there. So, what all do you want done to the tower? I'd like to not have to go through the watery cellar to get there. Yeah. So there was like a hole on the first floor, right? Can we turn that into like a, a door or something? There was a door to begin with. On the first floor, right? Yeah, on the first floor. Yep. Okay. That works for me. Well, that 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 whole room needs to be needs to be fixed. Um, and we should and probably block the cellar off. Yeah, close off the entrance to the cellar from outside. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do about the mountain that's impeding into the into the thing? Start digging, I guess. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Build a moat. Build a moat. <laughs> That's yeah. a good idea. Well, like it's through the first layer. Here, I'll move it to the. So this was the the entrance. Yeah. All I see is black. To go. I have any spells for this? Oh, what's his name? Is here still? I think you grabbed the wrong dude. Can we just walk it? The steel wall again and not me? This entrance wasn't here before, was it? No. Okay. It had rubble. Uh, okay. But I'm just kidding. I just want, want to know what you want to do about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. So I definitely don't want a big hole in our, in our tower, but. So we should probably mm. move the mountain outside and then fix it so it's a sealed room. I'm going to roll an engineering check. To see what's the best way about fi fixing this without uh hurting the structure of the tower if that's okay yeah for sure uh, 17. you would think that pretty much it's just the cement this entire room where this room used to be and just fill it with a mortar or thing pretty much keep this part intact but from this point on this this thing this would be kind of a buffer zone where you just fill it with concrete so that the mountain doesn't can't press against it if that makes sense. I'm a little confused about how the mountain even came into the tower. Um, it, it's uh pretty much it's just drift. Like over five hundred years. Long time. Yeah. So pretty much it moved from here to here. In 500 years. Just kind of keep doing that, though. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that if you fill this in with concrete, then it won't it will spread out rather than spread down. You might have to repair it every 100 years or so. But that would be how you deal with it. That sounds good to me. Have them get rid of the skeletons and stuff. 
Yeah, of course. Damn, that's a third level spell for clerics. Damn, I was gonna say move stone shape, just move it away. Mythics being high level. Right, just there's a mountain in your way. I disintegrate the mountain. The world was is literally your sandbox. All high level magic is overpowered. Yeah, psionics, man. Oh, how <laughs> much was that telescope? Let me find it. A lot. Oh, Two to eight thousand. Depending on the magnification level. Yep, I just found it. Two to eight thousand. Weighs twelve pounds, twenty three pounds, forty four pounds. Do you wish to buy one? Nah, maybe when I'm richer. So as you guys go up to um you know, grab all the skulls. There's the issue of the little girl again. Yeah, we, we bought a sheep. A sheep for that. I mean, we should probably help her at some point, so. I mean, we have guards now, right? Four guards? Eight guards. Eight guards. So we can just, you know, stand at the front of the room, or stand by the levers, I guess. And like this is all theoretical, not something we're actually doing at the moment. But and then just let the waves of skeleton crash on our cards. And uh, grab I wish can, actually can pick them up. Why are you down here? More than that, some lingering regret. Yeah. Here. Let's go talk to her. See if we want to release her. Can we set the ballista up in that room? <laughs> uh, it is. It is. It is possible, but probably not practical. Like, you can fit it in right before, like, pointing right at her. <laughs> Why do you think she's going to attack us? She, it's she, a little she, girl. A horror movie. Yeah, but she, she always seems like, like she was willing to set the skeletons on us just to free herself. Like, it wasn't like she wanted us to, to be hurt, I don't mm. think. So, little girl, do you want to hurt us? No. Mm, then why are you here? They wouldn't put you in jail if they didn't want to hurt you. I locked myself in here to protect myself from invaders, but the invaders never came, and I never got out. So why would your lingering regret tying you to this mortal coil? It's these bars. I can It's more than just that. Rip behind you, you can easily just go through, but you're incorporeal. She goes through this, and there's more bars. There's also bars in the wall. Uh, she touches the bars. And go ahead and give me a reflex save. Me? Oh, jeez. Uh, just Cerulius and Grata. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that. Mm. 
that is a reflex save from both of you. Okay, you're fine. It's gonna be really funny if you roll if if you get under a oh my god. So um this brilliant flash of light uh pops up and like sparks and arcs. Uh Cerelius, you go blind for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I scream and fall to the floor again. Uh after uh one minute the blindness leaves. Thank God, right? You monster! Why would you do that? I just, I, I just wanted to show you that I can't leave. Ah. Let's go back around where everyone else is. I don't know. So, what do you think? We have these cards downstairs. I'm not sure how useful they'll be versus the skeletons, but they could probably occupy their time. For a bit before we could kill them all. I will say that if I am to be free, they need to be free as well. Mm. I mean, why don't I just stand outside and put a bunch of arrows into them? Give it a shot. In which way? Which direction? Uh, I'll shoot the one to my south. Okay. Through Damien? Yeah, I can shoot into a precise shot and all that. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm just uh, saying. I'll just days. start. Like, I have like a, a bunch of holy symbols left. I'll just start throwing them. I'll just throw them into the cells. I mean. Okay. So you start shooting them, and the arrows go in. They do staggering damage, ribs and, and shoulder blades and arms torn apart. And then as you move on to the next one, it, it, it starts to regenerate. The bone chips kind of reform into an arm. And she and what if I that? start throwing holy symbols in there? Um, They would probably just burn forever in a horrible, <laughs> twisted... You could do that. That would be that would be like the vibe punch. I'll just and I have a stick. I'll just start putting. I'll just start like you know put put it like holy some more on the stick, and I'll just start putting them over their uh, over the their head, you know, their necks in preparation, so they'll all be on fire when we when we release them. I'm <laughs> oh, good. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, well, this begs the question. I mean, if they're gonna keep regenerating, won't this be terrible when we release them? What's causing them to regenerate? Hopefully, well, as you bars. As you say that, it's the jail itself. It, mm. it, it turned them in. These bars turned them into monsters, and now it will remain that they will always be monsters. I do not believe that anything can die within this. Die from undeath while in these cells. Hmm, so if we were seriously injured, just go throw one of us in here. We just could become undead. Good to know. Um, <laughs> all right. So what do you guys think? Do you want to try to free them and fight? I kind of lift up the sheet I brought and, you know, kind of look at you. We're going to have to do something about it eventually. That is doing something about it. Out of sight, out of mind. But it's a little girl. It's a ghostly little you. girl who just tried to blind you. Oh, God, she did just try to blind me. Mm. So, little girl, why should we let you out of this cage? Um, because it's not right. Mm. Mm. Doesn't sound like you have any rewards for us. All right. So this is like an ethical decision then. Yeah, I think we should do it. I don't know how useful those those cars will be up here. Do you think they'll just get slaughtered? Can we bring the, the cars up here and uh, see what happens as they see this see these 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 skeletons? Well, are the skeletons armed? 
Yes. So I shoot them, break them apart. We take the weapons. Like this idea. And then, uh, then at least we don't have to worry about weapons. We can just try to subdue them and drag them out. Okay. So well, let's just say that you do this over a course of days, because I don't think it's feasible to do that within. Yeah. So you start the disarmament process now. You shoot one, you shoot it to bits, you hack it, and it, it doesn't seem to like fight back or anything, and you attempt to disarm one. It goes splendidly. The first shot shatters its skull. Its arm, it, it kind of falls apart for a second. The sword, rusty uh, sword comes off. The shield, however, is much, much more difficult. No matter how much that you, you, you chip away, there's still some part of its flesh or uh, flesh or skeleton remains that stick to the shield. And it does not, it has the same reaction, the blinding flash when you try to pull it through. Hmm. Um, if, if you want to remove, so if you want to remove the swords, it'll take about three to four days. If you want to remove the shield, yeah, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's like 22 skeletons, and you so have to shoot them the bits. And how many days did you say it's going to take? It's like three to four. So it's going to take us five, four hours per skeleton. Uh, I mean, not entirely four hours, but I'm... Eh. Okay, let's say two days then. Two hours per skeleton is much more reasonable. But it actually does... You have to literally just crumble them to bets. Mm, but my whole is supposed to continuously have them on fire, too. Mm. I, I will not say that your holy symbol just lights them on fire neatly, either. It, you, you have to like get super oh, lucky. I must have some spell for this. Hold on. Can't not have a spell for this. If you could make ammunition holy somehow, then I would say that you could just make all of your amulets holy and then that would work. I've got holy water. I've got four flasks of holy water. you want to dip everything in holy water, which would probably consume all four flasks, then you could burn them all. And then you could get it done in a day. We'll do that then. Okay. So you dip, a, dip all your things in the, the thing and then wrap them around the neck. They all light into fire. Eventually their sword drops. Their shield comes off. You get the shield from about half of them with this method. So yeah. So over the course of the day, you work very, very diligently burning skeletons alive in a torturous but state. they're not alive. They're skeletons. You're burning skeletons and You can't unalive. burn an undead creature alive. It's an oxymoron. Burn the skeletons unalive. Maybe okay. think about giving the little girl a holy symbol. I don't think she'll like that. We can ask her, little girl, do you want a holy symbol? No, I'm scared. It will make you strong. And warm the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, if you think it will help. Just like, put it on the ground, on the ground up by her. So she can like, do you push it, it, do you think, push, like, you push it through the bars? No, I'm going to like throw it through the bars. I'm not doing that. It, yeah, this is just un unjustified. So, do you give her a holy symbol or no? I do not. I give her, I give her a my holy symbol, but I don't do anything to it. I just put, put it on the floor. <laughs> Roll a D100. Oh God, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> you wanted to give it to her. Yeah. There's a chance this, I'll tell her first, this fern 
all the other skeletons. As as you say that and push it through the bars, you hear this. Nice. That's terrifying. Is that from her? Yes. Hmm. Well, let's not do that. Okay. You, you like push it through the bars and then that happens and then you just push it through the back. Yep. <laughs> okay. It didn't okay? keep me warm. It didn't keep me warm at all. And mm. she she faces through the wall to the other side. Damn. All right. Well, maybe she's gonna hate us now. I don't know. I'll put the sheet up. <laughs> it's seeming like a like a better plan now. We should be able to kill these skeletons now, though. So will these cards help us at all? If we bring them up here. So they bring the guards up and they're like, nope, nope, nope. nope. <laughs> yeah, it's not, like, not, paid, not paid enough for this. Uh, all right. So, little girl, what was the combination of levers to re release you and all these other monstrosities? The three on the left. All right. So we are doing this, or no, we're not doing this. Uh, we're you've, dis you've disarmed all the skeletons of of weapons, at least. We are missing Grandma, but and, we should be able and, to do it. Like this, was, we were supposed to be able to do this before we killed the sorcerer. So I, I will, I will warn you that you are also missing Griselda, for all intents mm -hmm. and purposes. You might get swarmed. How many well, spells? You said there's 22 of them. That is quite a bit. I mean, you wanted to do something about it. We've disarmed them and we've put a sheet up. I think we should call it good. <laughs> uh, we can come back when we have everyone here, I guess. But it seems like we should just kill them all and get it over with. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, guys. Uh, now the GM is telling us to do it. Now I definitely don't want to do it. I know, right? <laughs> it over with, though. They can just, they've been there for years. They can be there for years more. I'm fine with either. I'll leave the decision up to someone else. Whenever I make decisions, it goes poorly for me. So we'll let uh, Grandma be the tiebreaker. What do you, you know, what time is it? It is nine. Do we want to call it an hour early? I'm fine with that. I'm, fine I'm missing with that. A, a couple people either way. Yeah. I don't want to go too far. Okay. So I feel like we're killing Damien slowly by having him talk. Can you say samples? Can you please say samples? Samples! <laughs> <laughs> that was unjustified. <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. Yeah, it'll probably be me next week if he's sick. That's possible. So, we normally do this at the start of the your acid, your mic is open. Um, who wants to do the recap next week? I can do it. <laughs> I think it's fitting. Okay. Uh, also, I forgot to give you a magical item, um, Danny. Oh? Yeah, you get a fate point. Fate points are as unlimited wish. You can wish to be more powerful, 
you can use it now, you can use it to save your life, you can use it to revive that where you want time, you can use it in pretty much any applicable sense. So to get a jail free card, you have one now. Um, right. They're mostly used just to save your life, but you know. Yeah. We've, you could use it to increase your size. Uh, last game, he used fate points. He wished for more. He wished for more wishes, which gave him more fate points, and then he used those fate points to be able to increase and decrease his size at will. So it has been used for many, many different things, but the main primary use is just to um, save your life. But okay. I stop a curse from killing myself. Wait, no, that was my wish from a god. That, that was different than a fate point. <laughs> If I can use it to wish for more fate points, then why wouldn't I do that? Well, no, that was a, <laughs> like a poor decision. That I was my fate points on top of a wish from a god uh, to uh, okay. amplify it. Okay, that makes more sense. Good times. Good times. You know, yeah. I'd still have my sheet for that, you know, if for all, you know, it, uh, in the papers, you know, I could decide mm -hmm. I wanted to keep my sheet. So sad. Morax is small. He doesn't have the gains. So sad. God damn it. <laughs> uh.